Hello, my esteemed viewers. Welcome to V Tutorials. Today, I'll be your instructor. I'll be walking you through how to make a proper ISO sensitivity on your camera. I'll specify in on camera Nikon model D60. How you could focus on some of your settings and get a proper outcome of a picture. So if you check it out, there are a lot of modes here you can use for your picture depending on the environment and the atmosphere. As you can see this, we have auto here. We have P here, this program. We have this uh, S, A, M, and um, what have you. You can use any of these depending on the nature of the picture you want to take or the environment or depending on the nature of the atmosphere at that very particular time so you can check and see so we start from the normal camera settings now you see my is in s right now you can put it in p as a program now if you want to take a shot with this p you must have to lift up your flash you press this this take up the flash you press this and your flash come up you see and try taking a picture you see this this is what we call a shooter this sorry let me take it back to this 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 is what we call the power you see put it on see the camera coming up put it off see the camera going off so i'm putting it on now because i have work to do with it it's right on you can see and um this very camera has a lens that range from this very number range from 18 to 55 the lens range from 18 to 55 but this lens you're seeing currently is replaceable you can choose to buy a bigger lens and fix it as long as it belongs to the company or a company that is capable of taking nikon so you check it out there is what we call an um iso sensitivity let's start from there you see the picture i just took okay taken from the program let me snap on this uh on this on this bird you see this is what i got this is what i got you can see it use this very button to zoom in and out Okay, and if you want to see them in grid, you keep pressing the minus. You can see it. It has uh, a zoom number here. This one is positive. That is zoom. You zoom in. So it's negative. That is zoom out. Okay, you press this. If you want to see what you previously snapped, you press this. You see. If you want to see them in grid, keep pressing this. You see. You see. They keep showing like this. If you want to move, you use the navigator keys. This is the fast navigator key. Use the navigator keys, use the navigator keys, and um, you keep getting what you want, whatever picture you want to take. And if you want it to come out all in bold, you keep using this. This positive, you see this positive? Zoom in. All right. You see? If you want to see the faces of the picture, you snap. You zoom boldly. Okay, guys. By the way. I will be walking you through the settings now. If you want uh, to go to the settings, the settings are in two view. One, you can go through the manual, the menu. Press the menu. Okay. It take you to you see folders, file number in sequence. It will ask you if you want to clean the image sensors. Do you want to dust off rough photos? Do you want to auto image rotate? Uh -huh. you want to rotate the image? Maybe your picture is automatic shooting for shooting info if you want to go to time lcd brightness this lcd brightness whenever you want to it kind of add brightness to your to your camera but i don't normally advise people to use this because that lcd normally affects pictures normally affect pictures okay let's quickly go directly to what i want to show us today if you want to get the complete settings you press this you see this question mark you see this question mark is very vital you press it you see that's what it's giving you on this place you can 
you can a kind of adjust your ISO sensitivity. You can adjust the um, image quality. You can take it from auto to manual. So you can take it from auto to manual. You can increase the picture light. You can add the ISO here and also reduce the ISO. Now let's start from the first one. Um, the first one, which is this, is fine. This is where the image quality here is located. Okay, you press this again. Press this. Now you see it has given you option. Now you say okay. Now you see okay. If you want your picture to be raw, use this first one. But I don't normally advise people to use this raw one because whenever you want to you kind of view it on your computer, it's not going to be visible. You'll not be able to find it. You'll not be able to view it. Okay, so I always advise people to use this fine and um, normal. The basics to lose the quality of the picture. Why the um, raw B give you a complete black and white? Let's let's see. Let's use this raw B and see. So. Let's use this raw and see. Go to the raw and see. Okay. Go to the raw and see. Okay. Now we'll go back to the settings. We'll go back to the settings. You go to the raw and see. Okay. If you take your picture in this mode, there's a baby in my front. Let me take it and you see. You see? If you take a picture with this very raw, you know what happened when you take it to your computer? You know what happens when you take it to, go to your computer? You will not be able to view this very picture. You know why? You will not be able to find this very picture. You see the baby? Now see the picture of the baby. <laughs> With our own baby trying to bite it. Okay. Now you can now see what this very mode gave it to us. Which is P. It, uh, if you zoom it out very well, you see that there's no big Zeus. The picture is very very qualitative so we we'll go back to the settings and you see now we take the picture with raw this very raw the disadvantage of it is that as i said earlier you cannot view it on your computer okay if you want to change the settings from this raw you press ok and go to find this is the best it can be which is 7.3 you go to find this is the best it can be let's take a picture and you see how it's going to be okay we are forgetting something you know what that is the flash okay as i said earlier you press this take your flash off uh, sorry for the interruption this fine as you can see is the best so do this Okay, so press the fine, click in the fine. As I said, use this to on the flash. Now let's try this. Let's take a picture. Let's see what we got. Use it to zoom it in. See? Still very sharp. The question was snap, it's still very sharp. So and um, as I said, that is one of the best mode you can use to snap your picture, which is this fine. But it, if you want, you can still choose this normal. This normal is also okay. And if you want, you can go back to the okay. Check this. Go put in the basics. All is fine. If you want, you can still go back. Put it in the raw. All is still fine. On this occasion, you have your ISO. 1 over 60. And your 4.8 so on this if you want to add now the volume of the ISO you go here you see you see this very sign now this one is in raw right let me return it to my fine because that is what I normally used so you now use this navigator key to roll it down this place let me not escape it this is the format do you want it in large format, which is 7.3, in medium, 
which is 4.1 or in 1.9 which is the smallest okay we want it in large you okay leave it in large okay these are what exactly we're talking about the iso sensitivity is in 200 now it's in 200 you see you can put it in 400 800 1600 depending on the environment that you are you can use this 800 or 1600 600 in the night where the weather is dark you can use it in the night because the the most essence of using this iso sensitivity is to increase brightness so increase brightness and make your picture perfect now let me show you something now i am currently inside so i want to use i want to use some of those um, iso numbers for you to see it so, okay i'm going to put in 100 and take a picture and see do you see this on this the iso is 100 though it's still reasonable because i have access to lights in my room so if you don't have an access to light in your room if it is a complete dark place or there is light that but or there is a, a, a room light but not properly illuminated you can add the iso sensitivity okay we go let's take it from this very 100 to 200 and take a shot again and see see you can see there is a big difference right the difference is what brightness okay this is in 200 and now it's okay we want it in in 400 you see take a picture again how do you see it still difference is brightness you can still take it to 800 800 okay take a picture you see you see you can zoom the picture out mm. you can zoom the picture out to see what exactly it looks like okay let's use the final one and see remember whatever figure your iso sensitivity is you will see it here as long as you are on these settings okay let's take it with the 800 and see you see now everywhere here is bright you see it's just so perfect so i believe you will know kind of how to use your iso sensitivity today and um in the next class i will be showing you how these very two functions works how these two functions works how you can use it in a shortcut to increase your ISO sensitivity and also decrease your ISO sensitivity without going all through these settings. So please, if you enjoy my, my teaching, my lecture, please subscribe to my channel. And whenever I drop anything, you'll be able to receive it immediately. On this, my very channel, I'll be showing a lot. I'll be teaching a lot. I'll be showing how to do many things so please join me give me a subscription and i'll be able to continue this thank you so much i'm highly grateful bye